Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Medrar. Today I will discuss about BLS. BLS stands for Basic Life Support. As the name indicates, it has saved the life of many patients and with the successful CPR, the chance of survival of the patient increased up to 60%. So it's a life-saving procedure and everyone should know whether it's a medical or non-medical, professional or non-professional should know about these simple steps and should perform the CPR. According to the guidelines, one minute delay in CPR increase the mortality of a patient up to 10% and any chest compression is better than no chest compression. Now I will be demonstrating BLS practically. Now the, if a patient collapses in front of you, then you must first ensure the scene safety. You should transfer this patient to a safe scene. For example, if he is lying on the road, then you should transfer this patient from the road to the nearby place. The next step is you should check the response of this patient. You can check the response of this patient by tapping on the shoulder of this patient like, Mr. How are you? If he is not responding, then you must call for the help. This is the third step. You must call for the help and uh, say that please call the rescue uh, to, uh, so that the help may arrive. Fourth step is the check the pulse of this patient, carotid pulsation. This is very important because carotid pulsation will differentiate whether the patient is in a cardiac arrest or not. Uh, carotid pulsation can be checked by uh, palpating the uh, carotid artery. The minimum duration should be 5 seconds and you can uh, in, uh, maximum duration you can feel up to 10 seconds but not more than 10 seconds because you should have minimum interruption in BLS. Now, if you are not getting any pulse, carotid pulsation within 10 seconds, then you immediately start the CPR. CPR is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation where you give chest compression followed by rescue breath uh, and you must, in this, you must expose the patient, you must identify the sternum, sternum and the inter uh, in the middle of the intermammillary line between the two nipple, you must start the chest compression here. There are two approaches. One approach is you can either interlock your hand or you can put one hand on the other one on one another. So the, uh, th this is a simple, you, you interlock the hand, you must lock the elbow, you must strip the uh, shoulder joint and the, remember the movement should come from the hip joint okay so the this chest compression is about you should give about 100 to 120 chest compression per minute and after every 30 compression you may give rescue breaths but but remember the rescue breaths as it's a covid pandemic so the it's, it's not recommended that you give the rescue breath. If the embu bag is available in a hospital setting or any place, you can use the embu bag for the uh, rescue breaths. Now I am demonstrating, uh, you, you interlock the, uh, the hands and you start chest compression movement from the hip joint. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, up to 30 up to 30, uh, when there are 30 compression, you can give so risk you breathe through uh, embu bag. You must continue this CPR up to five cycles before checking the response of this patient. You must have a minimum interruption. You must avoid any interruption and the chest compression should be minimally about five centimeter. And the chest recoil should be adequate so that the venous return come to the heart uh, and uh, it pumps with chest compression. If, for example, if this is in airport or uh, any place and automated external deep fibrillator is available, then you should use that deep fibrillator also. Everyone should, I repeat, everyone should know about this automated external deep fibrillator. This is a simple um, um, device where you can use it. So, it's a, uh, it's consists of um, uh, pads sticky pads, turn on button, turn off button and shock. So you expose the patient and there are two sticky pads in this. There are two sticky pads in this. You must apply one sticky pad on the right upper sternum area. 
and the other sticky pad just below the apex. Now, uh, wh wh what is the importance of this sticky pad? The importance of this sticky pad that if it is in cardiac arrest, it will tell you whether it is a shockable rhythm or non-shockable rhythm. If it is a non-shockable rhythm, the machine will tell you that continue the CPR. But if it is a shockable rhythm, the machine will tell you that deliver the shock. After applying the sticky pad, you turn on the button and after analyzing the rhythm, it is per layman, so you do not need to interpre interpret any ECG or any reading. It will tell you loudly that deliver the shock. If it is shockable, you deliver the shock by pressing this button. After delivering the shock, you must again continue the uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, i.e., chest compression and rescue breaths. Uh, now, I will demonstrate again. First, the person collapses in front of you, then you ensure the scene safety, the scene, and then you call for the help. After calling for the help, you check the carotid pulsation. If you are not getting any carotid pulsation for 10 seconds, it is a cardiac arrest. You must continue the CPR. The CPR, you, you, your elbow should be uh, fixed, shoulder should be stiff, and movement from the hip joint and the chest should compress about 5 centimeter deep and there should be no interruption for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, for example, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You can give a uh, risk you breathe through embu bag. Now, I will show you the embu bag. This is an embu bag which is available, which is present in hospital setup, head tilt and uh, chin left manure and apply this to the mouth or nose and after every 30 compression, it, sh it should be given by uh, another helper available with you. So, 1, 2, then again 30 chest compression followed by 2 rescue breaths, again 30 compression followed by 2 rescue breaths. After 5 cycles of CPR, you again check the pulsation if the patient saw any sign of life like uh, if, if the pulse is coming or if there is any respiration coming then you must end the uh, CPR. So that was it. Hope you learn from my video and I will be uploading various protocols, emergencies, cases and guidelines in my YouTube channel. So stay tuned.